Jennifer Dean from mindbodybride.com and you're joining me today for a full body bridal workout. We're working out together for eight minutes. We have eight exercises. Each exercise goes for 45 seconds and there's a 15 second break in between. So you need a pair of heavy weights and your exercise mat. Bring your energy and let's get started. Before we get started, let me take you through the moves. For the lunge and reach, focus on driving up through the supporting leg and reaching the fingers high to the sky. In the squat press, keep the weight in the heels and the shoulders down away from the ears. For the figure skater, take up as much room across the floor as you can. In our bent over row, the abdominals support the low back. Try and keep your back really flat and long. Cross jacks, just pick up the pace and get that cardio pumping. In the oblique climber push-up, bring your knee to your elbow four times, alternating sides, and then take one tricep push-up, either a full push-up or on your knees. Drive the supporting foot into the floor and squeeze your butt as you lift and lower your hips, pressing your weight straight up to the ceiling. Seesaw abs, you lift the chest, then you lift the knees and lift the hips away from the floor, bringing the knees to the nose. Keep your low back against the ground the entire time. It's time to press play on your favorite workout playlist and let's get started. Beginning with the lunge and reach. Explode from the floor as you reach your fingers up to the ceiling and then deeply come back into that lunge. Keep the front knee on top of the ankle and don't let it drive forward past your toes. One more and then switch your legs. And take one more and then rest and you've got a 15 second rest and we're moving into squat press. So grab a pair of heavy weights and pop them onto your shoulders. Sit the hips back into squat, stand up and press those weights straight up to the ceiling. Focus on just continuing to move at a steady pace, as fast or as slowly as you'd like. Finish here and put your weights down for your figure skater. Your goal is to move across the floor, taking up as much space as you can. And here we go in three, two, and one. Gliding from side to side, reaching the fingers down to the ground and keeping the abdominals in to support the back. taking your 15 second rest and picking up both your heavy weights. Have a soft bend in the knees, your spine is flat and parallel to the floor. Pull your elbows straight up to the ceiling, keeping the weights close towards the rib cage. At the halfway point, we're just going to change our hand position. With your breath, exhale every time you lift your arms up and keep pulling the abs in to support the low back. 
and now turn the hands so the elbows pull straight out to the side away from the body drawing the shoulders together on the back. And here's your last one and standing up, place the weights down and out of the way. Your next cardio burst is the cross jack. Crossing arms and legs, alternate the top arm and the front foot each time you jack. Now if you'd like to join me, we're going to turn these into air jacks. So sweep the arms overhead and spring away from the floor, squeezing your inner thighs and bending your knees every time you land. Great job with that. Uncurl your mat and we're coming into your oblique climber with a push up. Now you can do your push ups from the full position, on your knees, or a 50-50 split, which I'll show you. Starting in plank pose, shoulders are over the wrists. Bring the knee to the elbow, alternating sides four times. Take one push up, hugging the elbows into the ribs. Your second option for the push up is to lower the body in plank and drop the knees down to press back up. And then the third and final modification is just a kneeling push up, knees down and up the entire time. And here's your last one. And then grab one heavy weight and lie onto your back for the single leg press. We'll have the right knee lifted, holding the weight just in front of the chest. And here we go in three, two, and one. Lift the hips to the ceiling, press the weight to the sky, and then tap everything back down. Press equally into the big toe and the baby toe side of the foot on that left leg. And I'll tell you when to switch. And you can switch legs here. Rest the hips down, place the weight out of the side but stay on your back. Your final move is the seesaw abs. Hands are behind the head, feet are on the floor, squeezing the inner thighs together. Pay attention to keeping your low back on the ground the entire time. As you exhale, lift your head and chest, then lift your knees towards your nose and lift your tailbone one inch from the floor. Feet go down, then head goes down. Continue to alternate head and then legs. And here's your last one. And then rest everything down and have a full body stretch before you come on up to seated. Great work with this today. It was a tough workout and I hope you feel really good. If you'd like to, I recommend repeating two to three rounds of this workout, but take about 60 seconds to two minutes before you start again. At the end, remember to stretch. And if you'd like more workouts like this, come and visit mindbodybride.com. I'll see you there.